Hi friend, Dick Hardy here. Thanks for taking some time to hang out with me on this uh, video blog. I want to take a couple of minutes and just chat with you about a subject that I think is germane to all of us in ministry. I, I know it is for me and I'm confident it is for you as well. And that's the subject of uh, our connectedness to other people around us. One of the things I observe as a church consultant is that the larger a church gets, the easier it is for the leaders of those churches to become isolated. They become very inward to the church itself because they're focused on, on uh, their particular church. Their connection to, to pastors outside the church become less or, or they move to levels that are very, very surface. And I want to encourage you as a, as a believer to consider a couple of things as you're moving forward and growing your ministry, whether you're a volunteer or a pastor in a full-time role. I want you to consider how you can take steps to intentionally connect with other people. Uh, the Lord has called you to serve in whatever role He's called you to serve in. There are others in the church uh, that want to see you succeed. There are others outside the church that are doing things very similar to what you do. And I'm going to encourage you to really take time to think through how do you, how do you connect with them um, uh, during ministry and outside of ministry. The, and you may sit and listen to this and say, well, man, I'm, I'm not really connecting on what you're talking about because I feel like I have a lot of friends. Um, I would encourage you to be very prayerful as you continue to cultivate those relationships with your friends. Give of yourself to them. There will be times where you're going to need them uh, as you continue to grow in ministry. Uh, pray for your friends. Ask them to pray for you. I, I've developed a a list of a defined group of guys that I send uh, and family members that I send periodic notes out to asking them to pray for very specific things. Um, one, because I, I need the Lord's help in the things that I'm uh, involved with. But two, I want to I want to be praying for them. And I ask them, how can I pray for you? The more of that you do, the more connected you'll stay to the body of Christ. The Lord did not build you to be isolated. The Lord built you to be in community. That's what we talk about in our churches, don't we? That, that's why we talk about small groups. We talk about the various ways for people to connect. And you as a church leader need to do the same thing. Don't be isolated. Uh, allow the Lord to open the door to relationships with other people in and outside of ministry that, that help you grow as a believer, as an individual, and as a son or daughter of God. I hope this is helpful to you today. It certainly has been for me in putting it together for you. If you're seeing this anyplace other than thehardygroup.org, head on over there. Uh, we'd love to have you uh, there. P pass this uh, uh, video on to friends if you uh, feel like they uh, could benefit from it. And uh, we're just going to uh, continue to believe that God has the best days ever in your life ahead of you as you connect with others and as you operate in community and ministry. Thanks for watching the blog today. Make it a great one and be blessed.